Hey, David. I Congratulations. See. Thank you. So, finally, after some you know, serious networking efforts, you've managed to successfully master your interview at Bain and, well, receive a well-deserved uh, well offer. So, have you already accepted it? Yes. Yeah, I have. And uh, thank you for the congratulations. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So, which office uh, will you be joining? I will be joining their New York office. Cool. Cool. So, um, yeah, let's let's maybe talk a bit about the process. So, um, how did you experience uh, your interviews at Bain? How did you experience the conversations you had, the people that you talked to? Yeah, I thought it was um, it it was it was humanizing from the perspective of really giving me a sense for what the experience on the ground would be relative to what some of the materials, you know, the publicly av uh, available materials on the website and just talking to other folks would have me think working at the firm would be like. Mm -hmm. um, so that was pleasant. And I think um, the process itself also gave me a lot of confidence that I was making the right decision in terms of knowing that I would get the experience that I would want out of a career at Bain. You know, mm -hmm. the way that the interviews were conducted and the substance of the interviews, you know, the uh, it was seven different conversations that I had and they were each, um, you know, uh, focused in their own ways on trying to unpack, you know, specific qualities um, and skills that, that I would be expected to demonstrate on the job. So yeah. I felt um, very, uh, confident in, in making the decision at the end. Yeah, 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 cool. So uh, you just use the word conversation, right? So uh, I guess this is this is then also how it felt, right? It was not not so much, it didn't feel like a test, right? It really felt more like, like discussions and conversations. And you also had the chance to learn about how Bain is doing things. Yeah, absolutely. And I would say that they felt that way, um, you know, as a function of the preparation, uh, because when I first started um, working with you, the pro like any anything that we were going through definitely did not feel conversational, at least from my side, right? Because there wasn't that yeah. confidence and there wasn't yet that capability um, yeah. to treat it as such. And so yeah. I think, um, yeah, that that was um, a big a big transformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, talking about the the preparation program that we went through. So um, if you think back, what would you say um, if you would really condense this? What was really the major driver of success for you, right? Uh, if you think about all the things that we did, um, what helped you the most in convincing your interviewers? Yeah, I would say that as an experienced hire, it was very, uh, it was a, it was a challenge for me to find the right preparation partner. Um, yeah. be, and I think that uh, what stood out in going through the process with you was basically kind of two things. One was just capabilities building, um, the core problem solving skill set, and the way that you approach it, which is distinct and unique relative to any other offering that I was able to find. Just, you know, um, very rigorous top down approach to applying a very brutally logic logical. Um, Yes. You know, uh, yeah, uh, solutions Sometimes to, to solve the problem. Sometimes logical, right? <laughs> yeah, and um, as an experienced hire, that's essential to really hone. hone. Uh, and then the other is confidence building. So aside from yeah. just the the preparation that you and I did, I mean, the piece that was that took me from you know, kind of uh, crawling around in the dark and feeling my way through the tunnel to very fluidly treating these as conversations was just the volume of practice that you were able to enable me to have through the mentee yeah. network. I thought that that was critical. I ended up doing um, and administering between 30 and 40 cases over the span of probably four or five months. Yeah. Um, and, and that made all the difference for me just in terms of having the confidence to apply those capabilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually um, a very very nice aspect that you're that you're touching upon, right? So um, practicing with good people, right, and not practicing with random people that you find somewhere on the internet, where you always have to first of all filter out all the nonsense feedback that you get, right? 
Yeah, and uh, co coincidentally, so some of the folks that I spent the most time practicing with that you put me in touch with, we all had the same kind of first experience, or um, a couple of them were experienced hires, and we were like, yeah, you know, practicing with our wives, you know, our husbands only gets us so far. Yeah. <laughs> so to your point, yeah, absolutely. Having someone that's dialed into the same, uh, especially the same problem-solving approach that can give you um, very constructive and substantive feedback was critical yeah. for me. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so... I mean, uh, now in the next couple of weeks or even months, uh, recruiting season is uh, really upcoming in many, many markets. So um, what would you say, what would you recommend to someone who is just starting his or her interview preparation um, and is planning to interview, yeah, sometime during the summer? What would be your number one tip? Yeah, I would say definitely, particularly for experienced hires, I think that um, might be might be different depending on you know, school schedules for someone that's going through on-campus recruitment. But um, give yourselves the time, um, and the the benefit of um, you know the benefit that I had working with you and the folks that you put me in touch with was that um, we were able to uh, stagger the. You know the structured uh, parts of the program, the capabilities building, just learning how to problem solve in the way that you know you um, you teach, with applying that in practice. And the practice was what made all the difference for me. You know, for me it took, uh, like I said, 30 to 40 sessions um, yeah. with with other mentees, and that yeah. takes that takes time. So I would definitely not um, not drag my feet on getting uh, getting started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, David, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for, for sharing your perspective. Congratulations again. Uh, Bain is an amazing firm, right? So um, when, will, when will you actually start? So my, my start date is right in the middle of June. Uh, middle of June, June oh, 14th. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so upcoming in like three weeks from now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's right around the corner. Time is flying. But okay. big, big thank you to you as well, City. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. So, well, then, um, uh, buckle up, I would say, <laughs> for the journey ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I feel I feel a lot better than I otherwise otherwise may have in terms of being prepared to add value. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. Cheers. Okay. Bye. Take care.